Good evening. Well, here we are. We are Tuesday. We are the 10th of December. We are 15 days away from uh, the big day. Yeah, so the boss is coming soon. You know, Santa's coming. He'll be here in, uh, yeah, 15 days. So not long to go. Thank you so much for joining me tonight here on Cartload. It's an absolute pleasure to have your company. Whether you're watching from here in the UK, we are 7 o'clock. If you are watching from the United States Eastern Time, you'll be about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Of course, if you're Pacific Time, you're going to be about 11 a.m. in the morning. So I really do appreciate you tuning in from wherever you are watching all over the world. So what a night we've got, what a two hours we've got. We've got some dies, we've got some stamps, we've got create a card dies, we've got some embossing folders, nesting dies, sentiments. We've got so much that we want to dram pack full here on uh, Cartload. So, best way to get them is to, uh, if you're watching from uh, our website on Crafters TV, of course you will be watching me while you can shop at the exact same time. If you are watching from Facebook or YouTube, what you can do is head across to crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or if you are in Europe, .eu and uh, just have a look right at the top, you'll see Cartload, you'll see the wee icon, click on that. Everything that is on Cartload tonight, and let me tell you, it's going to be everything that's going to be on even that I can't show you, because I can't show you everything within the two hours. There's lots on there. So go across and have a look. We will show you as much as we can uh, within the next two hours. We've got some demonstrations uh, coming up within the next couple of hours. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get cracking in a minute. Um, I've got my Facebook up and running. So I am now, tonight I am on my Facebook page, Craig Laird Crafters Companion. So I'll be reading any comments on that coming up. So what we're going to do is uh, before we crack on with any demonstrations, have a look to see what's coming up tonight on Cartload. We have got the Create a Card Gemini Metal Die Bundle. So you can choose from the Clamshell and the Country Garden or the Only Love and the Torn Panel. So either one that you choose from, you're getting two within the pack. Half price, $14.99 here in the UK, $20.99 in the United States. Then we've got the Gemini Expression Die Bundle. So we've got Hello, Friends and Awesome. So you're getting all these within these ones here. So it's not just the actual sentiment, you're getting the outside die as well that enables you to make and create these stunning cards. Over 50% off, £7 for all of these, seven quid. In the UK, $13. I don't know what another word for dollar is in the United States, but $13 within the United States. Then we've got the Gemini. So this is our storybook and sentiment die. So this is a wee bundle we've got for you. So it's not just the storybook on their own. So this is Gemini metal die, storybook and sentiment. So this includes your storybook die. And then it, is, it also includes your special friend sentiment and thinking of you. So really nice die set in this one. We'll show you that in a bit more detail. Over 35% off, $24.99 here in the UK, $39.95 in the United States. Then we have something coming up right next. Here we go. This is something that everyone needs and uses in their uh, daily crafting life, whether it's just for matting and layering or whether it's any toppers or sentiments you want to do your matting and layering onto. This is our scalloped and stitched circle and oval Gemini metal dies. So you've got this whole collection within these ones there. So you've got your scallop, you've got your circle, and they're available within the uh, the actual uh, scalloped edge and the stitched edge. All of them, we'll show you them in a bit more detail later on. Over 50% off them ones, £25 here in the UK, $33 in the United States. Now, we've got another uh, another uh, additional bundle on this one here. This one is already popular and I'm not surprised. So, straight away they are 50% off on this one. This is your Gemini, uh, Layer and Dyes and Stamp Hydrangea and Lilacs collection. So you're going to get a multiple uh, variety of different stamps that you can layer on top of each other. We're even giving you the dies where you can die cut out if you want. $15.99 here in the UK, $24 in the United States. Now we love our embossing folders. This is an awesome bundle here. This is a selection of small sentiment embossing folders, uh, small embossing folders, as well as small 3D embossing folders. Gemini small embossing folders. I can't even, I don't even have the time to go through all of that on the screen there. We'll go through them later on, saving over 35% off, £17.50 uh, in the UK, $21 in the United States. Now we know how much I love my paper pads and we've got our double sided paper pads. This is our printed paper pad, vintage florals and summer breeze. So you're getting all of these with so 16 designs, they're 12 by 12, they're double sided. So many designs within these ones, 180 GSM, 2248 in the UK, 2992 in the United States, saving of 25% and you get 48 sheets in each pad. Okay. 
Right, so what we're going to do is I just want to quickly just go over about ordering. We are having a few issues at the moment. So what I want you to do is when you're actually ordering, so obviously you're going to be checking out, you're going to go into obviously your basket. So once you've actually checked out, I want you to check your uh, check check out, you're going to select your address, you're going to select your shipping method and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on next and then make sure that you actually select pay by card or PayPal. So what to do is go on into your basket, then you're just going to go and select your address, you're going to go on and uh, select your shipping method, then you're going to hit next, then you're going to select pay by card or pay by PayPal. So just a few issues there, so we know some people have had a few issues with them, we are working on uh, getting that sorted, so it's going to go back to the pre-selected payment method, uh, but for now if you do it that way, uh, then you will uh, be able to get your goodies no problem at all. Okie doke, so thank you so much for everyone that is tuning in, so like I say we've got everyone tuning in from Facebook, I've got my Facebook, you might be watching from uh, our uh, Crafters Companion page, our US page, my page, like I say we've got mine up and running ready to go, uh, you might be watching from YouTube, I really appreciate everyone watching from YouTube as well, but of course the best way is always to watch from our website crafterscompanion.co.uk or .com, that way you can watch via our Crafters TV, which means that you can watch me and you can shop at the exact same time. You don't have to be flicking about different screens, it's the best way to do it. Now, that's all done, let's go straight on, we'll go straight on to the creator cards. So what we've got in these ones here is exactly as it says, so this is all about creating cards through one pass of our Gemini. Now depending on the actual let's uh, size of card blank that you are using, uh, they will go through the Gemini Junior. So we've got the uh, two options for you on these ones here. So if I get this just a bit closer for you to see, there we go. So on this one here, we've got only love, and then we've also got the torn panel. So you're getting these two here, $14.99 here in the UK, $20.99 in the United States. That's half price. So you're getting that one there, or we do have another option for you where we have got Country Garden, you can tell I've been using this one already. We've got, I've got, I love this one. I'm going to be showing you a few things with that just in a moment. So we've got Country Garden, and then we've also got clamshells on this one here. So there are the other options. So you've got these two options just there. If Craig can go right to the right side, there we go, right side, we'll get there in the end. Again, $14.99 here in the UK, $20.99 in the United States. Again, half price. So the way to think of it as well is, um, I know obviously at the time of the year, you know, we're 15 days away from Christmas, but if you were able to get all four, that's the equivalent of getting all four for the price of what two were, because they're both half price. If you can only, uh, uh, stretch to two of them or you only want two of them at least we've broken them down into two separate ones instead of having to get the whole lot so that is your two options within there $14.99 for two of them $20.99 here in the UK so before we crack on and do some demonstrations let's show you some samples to show you first the sort of things that you can be creating with these ones here so we'll go for the first ones here we'll do the um, Country garden, so if we do the country garden first and then we'll show you uh, from that bundle as well. So if I tip that round there, so there we go. So we're going to do the uh, clamshell in the country garden. So this one's the clamshell, no it's not, it's the country garden. And all that we've done on this one here is we've done it multiple times and we've created our own decoupage on this one here that we can see quick and simple. But that is the whole idea, just one pass through the Gemini or Gemini Junior and that die cuts perfectly. So you've got that one there. What about popping a bit of uh, vellum onto the back that we can see just there? Maybe a bit of uh, vellum there, colouring it all just there, you can see just onto there. What about a notebook here? Now, these are perfect if you want to do any glittering through them. If you find just on the bottom of your screen here, we've got Chloe's Sparklicious Glitter, 25% off. So they were originally 3 99 here in the UK. They're now £3. Or, if you were or are in the United States, 6 95 originally, now $5. So go on to the website, check them out as well. So that one was the Country Garden. And then this one, so we've got the only love on uh, this one here. So that one's from the other set. Here we go for bring this one in here. Now, can you see this one just here? Now, you might not quite be able to see it just like that, so I'm going to just hold it still just there, but then I'm going to bring in this. Now, I don't know if you've maybe seen my Facebook page today. This is actually foiled. So what I have done is I've taken this one here, our country garden, and I've put it onto our foil press, and I foiled, foiled all that detail 
onto the cardstock. So if you want to know how to do that, then what to do is just go onto my Facebook page, Craig Lair Crafters Companion, and you'll see just the video under tonight's cart load. You'll have seen me doing that there. So it shows you how much you can do with your foil press using any of the thin metal dies that we've got on tonight. So that was that one. And then if we just bring in a few more here, so we've got these ones so let's move them out the way now look at this what about doing uh, 3d cards look at that one just there look at that one there so on that one there you can see it going all the way through so you've got your tor torn panels on this one so we've just die cut that straight in so as you can see just like that there we go then we've got another one just making them into like a wee uh, kiddies card so that's exactly what it's been just done it's just been die cut straight into your card blank and we've just added a couple of characters onto the front there that's all that it needs on that one just there and then we've got on this one just here the art deco now look at that, we've made that into a box. So we've die cut that into the lid and we've just created the box lid for that one there. Then we've also got, now look at this, if you've got any of your Art Deco stamps that you've got there, any of the matching papers on the background or that, you could be uh, mixing and matching and adding them onto them as well. So there we go, that's how you're doing the, creating the creator card. You don't get the outside die, what it does is it cuts into your cardstock. If you do want to trim it like we'll show you just shortly, then you can do it by using your guillotine. So there we go, there's just a few ideas in which you can be uh, creating using your create a card dies. So I think just very quickly before we go and start our demonstration, let's just quickly say hello to see what everyone is saying. Um, Mary from Maryland, thank you so much for uh, tuning in tonight or here in the UK in the United States. Uh, a lot of love for my uh, new jumper. I did, um, yes, I got that over the weekend. Um, if you, again, if you've seen my social media, you've seen that I was away home to Scotland for a few days. Um, so I picked this up when I went a wee bit Christmas shopping so yeah it's very warm let me tell you it's warm in here as well it's very warm but yeah it's nice nice and comfy and cozy um, Karen is saying hello from New Jersey New Jersey Dawn is saying oh my goodness the uh, cutest elf oh thank you very much I'm presuming that's me it's only me dressed as, dressed as an elf uh, then we've got Patricia saying love your holiday outfit Craig Pamela saying hello Karen is saying I love your jumper thank you so much uh, Marjorie from uh, Austin Colorado wow fantastic Fantastic. So many you tuning in tonight here on uh, Cartload. Right, so what we'll do is if you do have any questions, any queries, anything like that, then do pop on and ask. We do have the team across on Crafters Companion UK and USA Facebook page, uh, but we'll be dotting back and forwards as well. And as always, I'll come across later on tonight after we finish and see if there's any questions that need not answered. Right, let's get cracking. Let's carry on and we'll do the actual uh, creator card dies. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the country garden, but this time what we'll do is We'll, uh, we'll do it a wee bit different on this time. So what I want you to get is, I'm going to be really sneaky and bring these in. We have got our Centura Peril on the car on the show as well tonight. So we have got the uh, hint of silver and we've also got the hint of gold. So go onto the website, check that out as well. Again, just go on to uh, the icon at the top saying cart load. Click on that and everything that I'm going to be showing you and everything else is going to be right there. So what I'm going to do is, I've just got my piece of cardstock already cut to the size that I want. Then all that I'm going to do is bring in my background uh, die. So all that I've just done is just layer that up over the top just like this. Now because we have a lot of fine detail within there, anything with real fine detail, I just like to add my uh, metal shim in with that. So we're just going to pop that on first, then all that I'm going to do is bring that one in. Just with that fine detail, metal to metal through your cardstock, you're just going to uh, ensure that you're going to get that nice precision and clean cut every single time. So let's tape that down and then tape this down. So it's just our low tack tape and we're going to tape that. Then as normal, what you'll find it is your plastic shim, it's your magnetic shim, and then it's your top cutting plate. So we're going to go through the Gemini Junior. So as I say, if you want to do anything small like this, it's going to go through your Gemini Junior, no problem at all. If you want to do a larger card, eight by eight card, anything like that, then of course you will need your larger die cutting machine. Doesn't just have to be ours, the Gemini, it could be any of your die cutting machines out there that take the wafer thin dies. So if I remove this, now I'm not sure if we can quite see this, maybe close up will be better in a mo. oh there we go, oh, 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 I think so, I got a wee glimpse of something you didn't see, there we go, look at that, can you see how that is all die cut, I'm just warning you everyone, Johnny's back in the building tonight, uh, yeah, it's Johnny's turn tonight, so 
gosh knows what's going to happen, anything can happen. So we've got that all die cut just perfectly. So what I'm going to do is bring in just my mat just here. And then all that I'm going to do is just using my tool, we're just going to use that and we're just going to rub that back and forwards. And we are just going to get all these bits out. And then I'm just carefully just going to peel that away. If you're needing any additional tools or anything like that, again, remember, check out our website. Everything is across on there. So I'm just going to finish that off. I'm just going to run this over. Can you see how these are all just popping out? Just absolutely beautifully. Just so easy. Everything's all coming out. Thankfully, the Crafty Fairy is not in tonight. So that's going to go down there. And I will clean that up later on. If Crafty Fairy is watching tonight, I will sort it later. So there we go. I'm just popping all these. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That good, good, yeah, good point, uh, Johnny. I'm away to Germany tomorrow, so um, yeah, Johnny will have to do it. So there we go. All that I'm just doing now is I'm just getting my pokey tool and I'm just poking all these wee bits out just there. So this is really popular. I'm being told. Uh, tonight i'm not surprised because there's so many different things uh, different things you can be doing with your creator card but remember you could be doing something like this that i'm just doing now use it as a stencil bring your inks in bring your uh, pastes in anything like that stencil through them so i'm just going to finish popping out just these bits here and what i want to know is i want to know what's your favorite i want you to tell me what your favorite one is is it your clamshell and country garden or is it your uh, your hearts and uh, only loves or torn panels? So there we go. I want to know what one's your favourite. If um, if you've already got them, tell me what sort of things you've been making. Even better, post that. I know I can't see them here tonight live at this moment, but what to do is pop, pop them onto my uh, the wall of my Facebook page. Let me see what you're making. I'll have a look later on tonight. There we go. So if I bring that in now for you to see, apart from just these odd wee bits just there, can you see how that is all just die cut just beautifully, just like that. There we go. So what we're then going to do is, I'm going to move all them out the way and we'll get ourselves sorted. I am determined to try and keep some sort of organization here tonight. We'll see how long that goes. Yeah. Yes, Johnny, that wasn't sarcastic at all. So what I'm then doing is bringing in some bits and pieces. So I've just got some of our uh, glitter card. Again, you'll find all this sort of stuff on our website. And then what I'm going to do is just bring in our nesting die. So these are the sets that you're going to find on uh, uh, Craft Cart tonight. And what you're going to be able to do is uh, do all your matting and layering, doing uh, your uh, different... Did I say Craft Cart a minute ago? Craft Cart. Craft Load. Car cart Load. I'm just mixing up my words tonight. That's what I'm doing. So all that I'm just going to do just now is I'm going to... to <laughs> there. Bring these ones in. So I'm going to do my own framing. So what I'm doing is bring my plates in like this and I'm going to create my own frame. Bringing in my low tack tape. So all that I'm doing, because these are quite a, a basic shape, I don't need my metal uh, plate within this one. So I'm just going to layer them on. So you can do this separately if you so wish. I'm just checking, no, I want to go another size up. So if I pop that in. Now, if you have got, um, Things like, you'll still find different things on our website. If you have things like Hunky Dory Toppers, they were in the building on Friday with Anne Marie. So, with their card collections and that, if you've got any of your circle or your oval toppers of that left over, you could be creating your own uh, matting and layer toppers using our nests and dies. You could be changing all these different shapes and that when it comes to Sarah's signature collections. All these different things. Of course, do your matting and layering, bring everything up, uh, adding dimension if you want. It's entirely up to yourself. But they really are a staple to have in your uh, crafting stash. So now what I'm just doing is, if I peel all these away, so we've now got our, we've got a centre bit that we don't actually need at the moment, but this one is the stitched edge and you've actually got a stitched edge all the way around the outside, but we don't need that one, it's this one that I'm actually wanting. So what I'm going to do is move these out the way and I'm going to bring this in, so I'm going to be changing the shape of it slightly. Quite a lot actually. So what I'm just doing is I'm just using our wet glue. Everything like this, our call out glues you'll find on the website. We've actually got an adhesive bundle uh, on cartload tonight. So bringing that round, just using the fine detail. Then all that I'm going to do is just going to center that into the middle. 
and I'm just going to add just a bit of pressure just to hold that down. While I'm doing that, I'm going to take a very quick drink, holding that into place. Even elves need to drink. What do elves drink? I wonder what they drink. That wasn't a joke, by the way. I was just wondering what, what, what elves drink. I wonder what they drink. Hmm, I wonder. Melted snow? Maybe? Could be. So, what we're going to do is, adding that down, pressing that down there. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to cut out the centre bit just here. So, what I'm going to do, bringing in my small scissors, and I'm just going to follow that line. And I'm just going, so I'm just going to add just that wee bit more pressure there just to hold that glue in just for a second. You would just wait just a wee bit longer than I am. But I'm just going to go all the way around and I'm just going to snip all this out. You can be using this inside bit if you're careful. You don't have to throw it away. So I'm then just going to snip all these bits out like this, working my way along. If you prefer using a craft knife, then you can do. It's entirely up to yourself. You might find it easier using the big scissors. You know me by now, I like my small scissors. And we're just going to finish that. Going to just snip that away. So we've now created a sort of a frame. So I'm just pressing that down just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I've got my card blank. I've got another bit of our uh, red glitter card and I've got some of our black card. So I'm just going to sit that over the top just like that. And then what we're going to do is just start to add the glue. And I'm just going to add just a wee bit. So for uh, speed and quickness tonight, I'm just going to add it uh, using our wet glue. So I'm going to place that over the top, just like that. And then we're just going so. Right, so I believe elves drink reindeer milk. Okay, didn't know you could get milk from reindeers. So things you learn. So yeah, elves drink reindeer milk. I hope that is serious and no one's pulling my leg tonight. Um, so I'll need to, uh, I'll maybe need to check that on, um, on hot chocolate. Hot chocolate with uh, marshmallows. See, I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate. White chocolate, yeah. Um, candy canes, yeah. I do like my candy canes. Uh, I do like my marshmallows, yep. If, uh, again, if anyone's seen my Insta story the other day, you'll have seen I was eating uh, some uh, melted white chocolate with uh, marshmallows, dipping them in at my desk the other day, when you need a sugar rush, of course. There we go. So all that I'm just starting to do now is I'm just starting to build it up just like that. There we go. So then what I'm just going to do is, again, using our glue, and I'm just going to just add that wee bit there, just working my way all the way around. So you could then add uh, any of the glue into all that fine detail. Of course, if you've got your stick and spray, you could be using that. If you've got your dotty tape pen, you could be using that. Or if you've got our A4 double-sided adhesive sheets, why not use them? So there we go. So all that we're just doing there, so we're getting that uh, red glitter layer on the background. And then what we're also doing is we're also getting that bit of black matting and layering uh, on the, the middle part of the back. But you can see, but we're not actually showing any black clear all the way around. The black is actually staying within the middle. So what we can do is press that down so we can move that one out the way for the time being. Then what we're then going to do is bring in our uh, sentiments. So we've got, what did I do with my sentiments? So we've got them ones. So we are needing uh, special friends. Did, do you, you know when you set everything out neat and tidy, um, they were all here, so just bear with, bear with, we had them all here, all here ready to go, uh, so we've got that, we've got that, so they seem to have done a disappearing act, thankfully I've got some already die cut, although I would have preferred to have shown you how to die cut, but not there, not there, not there, not there, um, so, what we can then do, I, I, I do not know where we've got, we've got the other ones I'm going to show you later on, I don't, I'm not, I'm going to stop uh, waffling about, but oh, here we go. Because these, the ones I'm going to use actually come within the storybook die later on, so that's what it is. So what I'm doing is bringing in the special friend. So this one here that I'm showing you, this comes in with the storybook die that we'll show you later on. So you get this really nice swirly detail, so that die cuts out on its own. But we also 
give you that outside die cutting edge. So if you want to know about that, there we are, it's on your screen right now, the Gemini Metal Die Storybook and Sentiment. So you get your storybook die. Now it's not just one die, you get multiple dies here, we'll show you that. You get your special friend and you also get your thinking of you. So that's uh, over 35% off, $24.99 here in the UK, $39.95 in the United States. So what we can do, so for this one, I just need the actual special friend. So if I bring my plates in, let's even do it this way, just to show you. It will even go through our Gemini Mini. So if you've got your Gemini Mini, then you can be using these sorts of ones as well, because we can see how these just fit perfectly on there. So we're going to run that one through just like that. I'm just going to hold that down. So, yep, goes through the Gemini, the Gemini Junior, but of course, if you've got your Gemini uh, Mini or your Gemini Go, look at that, all just die cuts. Just shows you how powerful that Mini is, and that is Glitter Card. It's our Shedless Glitter Card, so it's coated. So, all that I'm just doing is being careful with this one because it is all tangled. It's got lots of nice wee swirls on them. So, if I just poke all these out, and I can show you, you can see, just making sure that you can see how they are all just poke, poked out. Of course, if you've got your wee tool there, uh, your actual die tool and brush, you could be using that. But I just want you to see how that die cuts just perfectly, even through the Gemini Mini. So if you have got your uh, hands on that one, then you can be using these sorts of ones just like that. There we go. So let's pull that away, peel that away just like this. Get rid of these bits, then there we go. Can you see there, if I get a bit of uh, white card, just like this, can you see that's glitter card, glitter card, that could be, that's a glitter card, it could be uh, our mirror card, or satin card, uh, it could be, again, we had it, oh, it's still on the website, still some, if you have things like your adorable scorable, that will still cut perfectly, even although it's 350 GSM, so look at that, beautiful. Right, so, that's these ones, that's that die cut. So let's move them out the way. I'm going to put them back with the storybook die. So then later on, we know that they are back there. So if you need the details for the creator card, it's back on your screen right now. So the clamshell and country garden is in the lead at the moment. So don't forget, you're actually getting both of them. So both of them for $14.99 here in the UK, $20.99 in the United States. But if you are in Europe, yours is across there as well on the website, curtiscompanion.eu. So I've already done it again within the Centura Peril in the white. So that's just got the two of them just there. We can just see them and no more. Have I got black card to hand just so you can see? Yep. So we've got the red and we've got the white just like that. Look at that. Actually, look at them together as well. Eh? So let's just peel that out. Then all that I've just done is using our glue, I've just created an off shadow effect just there. You can see that shadow effect just there. So that's them ones. So move these out of the way, bring all this out of the way. So then what I'm going to do is bring in my card again. And what I'm going to do this time is just add a small bit of glue just to each side. So just at the end and the end there. And I'm just going to pop just a small bit there and there. Then again, we're just going to do a wee bit there and there. Then what I'm going to do is turn it around and I'm just going to slightly um, bend it over and then I'm just going to pop it to the side and I'm just, before the glue settles, I'm just going to hold it into place and I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds, hopefully long enough so that I can show you how that stays in place, just like that. So if I leave it like that, then there we go. So we've used that background create a card die and we've even used that special friend just like that. But if I bring this one in to show you that I've done earlier on, I've just added a few more details with the bow and the gems. But can you see this bit here? Very quickly, I'm just going to show you how you can do something very different just there. So we've got that one there. Then what I'm going to do is let's take a bit of our Centura Peril. So this one's just with the hint of silver. It's on uh, the, uh, the website. And then all that I'm just going to do is let's just trim that down slightly. Uh, anything like guillotines or that are all across on the website as well. Now, what we're going to do this time, something a bit different. So we're going to bring in our uh, base cutting plate and then we're going to bring our rubber embossing mat. So what we're doing this time is we're actually going to emboss that detail. We're not going to die cut it, we're just going to emboss it. 
So rubber embossing mat, we've got our Centura Pearl, and then just, uh, actually let's take, let's take the heart just so it's something different. So all that I'm going to do is just like we would do as if we're going to die cut it, I'm just going to place that face down and I will just add just a wee bit of tape to the bottom just to hold it into place just like this then it's exactly the same it's just going to be our uh, plastic shim because we've got a rubber embossing mat we don't want the black uh, magnetic sheet and then we're just going to place that on top and we're just going to sandwich that through so what that's going to do is that's going to give enough pressure for all that detail to do the embossing debossing whichever way you want to look at it but it's not going to quite die, uh, die cut it. You're going to see some small cracks, which is on purpose. You'll see that in a moment, but you'll just see how all that detail comes out. So if we then just peel this away, can you look at that already? Look at that already. So if I then, I'm going to bring this just a bit closer for you to see in a moment. So there we go. And now I'm going to bring this in. Can you see, look at that? So instead of die cutting, what we've done is we have just embossed that. There we go. So that just shows you something different. So that's all that I've done within this one here that I've done earlier on. Instead of die cutting it, I actually just embossed the cardstock instead. So there we go. Two different ways in which you can create the background die. So there we go. So on that one there, that was our uh, creator cards we used on these ones there. So we've got the two options for you. Here we go. Just coming up on your screen right now. Here we go, Gemini Create a Card Metal Die Bundle. So you can choose from either the clamshell and the country garden, or what you can also get is the torn panel and also the uh, torn panel and only love. So you're getting two of them for uh, half price. So as I say, if you did want to go for four of them, if you were able to uh, stretch that a wee bit further, then you will work out as you're getting all four for the price of the two of them. Half price, $14.99 here in the UK or $20.99 in the United States. Then we also used the scalloped and stitched circle. So I used the actual uh, stitched oval. So what you're going to be getting is the uh, scalloped edge circle, which you're getting eight dies, and the scalloped edge oval, which you're also getting eight dies. Then you're getting the stitched edge circle, 11 dies, and you're also getting the stitched oval uh, dies, 11 dies, over 50%. These are core products for your crafty stash. Over 50% off, £25 here in the UK, $33 in the United States. Then, so you're going to see just coming up next how we've been mixing in much and we've used the sentiment from the Gemini Metal Die Storybook and Sentiments. So you get the Storybook Die, you get your Special Friends Sentiment and you also get your Tiffany Use Sentiment. Over 35% off, uh, $24.99 here in the UK, $39.95 in the United States. Now, so going across to uh, the website and ordering, if that is the way that you are doing it, then of course go to crafterscompanion.co.uk, crafterscompanion.com, of course if you are in Europe, crafterscompanion.eu, all your details running right along the bottom just there so what I want you to do is go on the website go on to uh, cart load and then you're just going to click on the icon at the top there when you go into that it's going to show you everything uh, on the good prices and bundles we've got here tonight on uh, cart load of course in uh, afternoon if you are watching from the United States maybe even morning so what you do is click onto that but we're going to be uh, having everything on the website there that uh, I don't even have time to show you so that's the best place to go of course if you're watching from crafters tv then that just means you can shop while you watch now, obviously we've had just a few issues when it comes to the payment part, so what I want you to do is, once you know what you've got and it's into your basket, so I want you to go out and then as if you're going to be checking out, so I want you to obviously select your address, confirm your address basically, and then select and confirm your shipping method that you want. Then click on to next, and then at that point, that's when you're going to make sure that you uh, select pay by card or pay by PayPal. So just uh, select your, uh, do kind of obviously the checkout part. You're just selecting your address, you're selecting your actual shipping uh, method, then click on next. So the guys and the girls in the office that are uh, working hard to get that sorted, so it's going to go back to uh, doing the pre-selected by the card, but for the time being, you can still let uh, check out that way. So just bear with us for the time being, but you will still get your goodies. So there we go, that's across on the website. We're going to have a look at the comments, see what you're all saying. So much love for uh, my jumper already. Uh, we've got uh, Sam from Ohio, uh, Joanna saying love the outfit, Suzette is saying uh, love the jumper, Sam is saying I love your shirt. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Kathy, thank you so much. That was a lovely comment. Uh, we've got Eric from saying good morning from uh, South 
I'm not sure about South SF Bay area. So I know it's America, but I'm not quite sure what the SF. Do let me know, uh, Eric, because you know how much I love um, America. Uh, Susan is saying, uh, doing a great job, Mr Laird. Uh, enjoying watching uh, you craft in your elf self. Well, thank you very much. And I'm not used to being called Mr L uh, Mr Laird unless it's by my mum in case I'm in trouble by something. So even at 34, if I get into trouble for something, I still get called Mr Laird. Um, so, Cathy, just saying, just love your outfit. Um, it's just so many. Th your England, Scotland, America, Germany, there's Spain. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I really do appreciate it. So, any more questions than that, get on to uh, my Crafters Companion page. Ask away. But in the time being, are you part of our Club Inspire, where the more you spend, the more tears you earn, and that way, the more that you earn, the more that you save, and the more benefits that you get. If uh, you don't know anything about Club Inspire, or you just want a wee bit more information about it, check out Osiris to tell you all about it. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. There we go, so you can see how it really is beneficial to join our Club Inspire Club, where the more you spend, the more tiers that you work your way up, and you get more uh, benefits as well, and more money off. Different, different things. Great to be part of. So what we're going to go next is we're going to go on to our layer and dies and stamp bundle set. So what we've got is we've got two different sets, so you're getting uh, some actual stamps, and uh, I'm saying you get some stamps, you're getting a lot of stamps, and we're even giving you some dies to go with it. So if, like me, if you like to fussy cut, then of course you can do, but if you don't don't like fussy cutting or if you have dexterity problems or that then at least then you can be doing your die cutting with them and you'll see the size of them they'll go through your uh, Gemini Mini, Gemini Go or any of your small die cutting machines as well. So what we can do is let's show you the actual set here. So what you're going to be getting as I say two stamp sets and two die sets here. So this is your budden hydrangea and I tell you what is let's just open them so you can see in full detail what you're getting. So if you're familiar with our uh, layering stamp set, what we've got is we've got all these different ones. So I can see at the top there, there's number one, there's number two, there's number three, and you've got all these different additional ones. So it comes from your foliage as well as sentiments. So the idea is with all these ones just here, if I turn this around, we kind of give you a wee key along the top there. So this is working with our Spectrum Noir. Uh, you could be using your Quick Dry or your uh, Water Reactive ink pads. So what you can do is you start with your lighter colour, you go with your mid colour, and then you go with your darker colour, and then that will give you that effect just there. We're going to be uh, 
uh, actually demo in this one just shortly. It gives you the actual uh, color ideas if you wish, but of course you could be doing any colors that you want. I do just want to point out as well, when it comes to doing your stamps, doing your matting and layering, you know, a good one to use is actually your tape pen. You can see that just along the bottom of your screen right there. It's doing 25% uh, off of your extra strong uh, permanent glue tips. So definitely worthwhile looking at that. So that uh, was $3.99 here in the UK, $5.95 in the US of A, but you are now $2.99 in the UK, $4.46 in the US of A. So there we go. So that was your stamp set and that is your coordinate and die set. So you might think to start with, okay, right, Craig, what does it really do? It doesn't look like anything exciting. Once you've actually stamped your uh, flowers, you can go over the top using these dies. It's going to die cut them out. So there we go. That is your uh, budding hydrangea. And then we've got the bloss blossos blossoming lilacs with these ones here. So you're getting everything here. $15.98 in the UK, $24.95 in the United States. That's a saving of over 50% off. So same ideas here. So what you've got is uh, number one, going to number two, number three, and then you've got all these additional ones at the bottom here, as well as some sentiments and that. So you can do all your layering, but of course you do get the dies as well if you wish. You can be doing all these too. So there we go, that's these ones. Got some samples to show you. So let's pop the uh, blossoming lilacs to the side. We're going to keep the uh, budden hydrangea next to me because that's what we're going to demo. And let's just show you the sort of things that you can be creating just here. Look at that one there. So that's just on our white smooth card. We've just used some of our quick dry blues and green inks onto there. See all that detail just coming to light. And then all we've just done is a bit of matting and layering and that's all that you need. What about changing the colours completely? Look at this one here, using some of our different frames from other collections. Done our own matting and layering on these ones, just picking out the detail, doing that yourself. So you've got that one. What about even just something like this one as well? Just bringing in your embossing folders. Remember, I showed you that technique using the uh, uh, create a card dies where you can use them to emboss. Why not do that in the background and then add your, uh, your uh, background flowers on the top of that. It's entirely up to yourself. Then on these ones here, so we've got your lilacs on these ones here. Bringing that one in. So we've stamped the one in the middle there and then we've just off-centered it just at each side there, just creating a wee bit extra uh, interest to them. Then really going all out on this one here again with the embossing folder into the back. But I'm going to show you just in a moment there with our actual bud and hydrangea how all that detail can pop out. And then, right, so on these ones here, we've got 20% gone on these ones here. Well, I'm not surprised on that one. 20% off. Once these ones have gone on this bundle, actually, once these have gone, they have gone. So really worthwhile uh, stocking up just now. Of course, you don't have to use the dies and stamps together. You can use them on their own. When it comes to the stamps, you don't have to use all the layers together. You maybe just want to layer, use layer one and three. It's entirely up to yourself. Once you get playing and you see all the different things you can do, you can be having a lot of fun. But there we go. I've showed you a few different size cards. So there's now a small one and then we've gone for an elongated one on this one just here we've even even added a bit of shimmer to the top there it's a bit like glossy accents on there just to get a bit of a glisten there we go perfect glisten on that one there and then don't forget if you've got your ultimate pro your scoreboards anything like that you can be creating your uh, easel cards look at that one there so there we go. That is your Laden Dyson and Stamp Bundles, your Budden Hydrangea, and also your Blossoming Lilacs. $15.98 here in the UK. Of course, in the United States, you're $24.95. All your prices in euros are across on the website. So basically, it, it kind of works out. If you buy the stamp, if you buy the dies, you're getting the stamps free. How incredible is that? You buy the, you buy the dies. So really, you're buying them, and then you're getting these for free. So on the Budden Hydrangea, you're getting 17 stamps in total. And then on your actual Blossoming Lilacs, you're getting 10 in total on this one here. So you're getting 27 stamps in total. And of course, you're getting all these sentiments in that as well. So they could be used elsewhere in your craft and it just doesn't have to be in conjunction with these. Right, so we've got them and we've got them. So let's bring in our stamping mat and we've got our stamping platform. Everything like this you'll find across on the website. And then all that I'm just going to do is I've just got some of our, uh, let's, I've got a smaller piece just here. So let's use that. And what I'm going to do is bring in our stamp sets. I'm going to then 
choose the colour that I want, actually, let's pop another bit of white just so you can see that in a moment. So just to decide, obviously, what colour I've got. So at the side of me just here, I've got my Quick Dry Harmony ink pads. Everything that, every, that you need to know about the Harmony ink pads, cross on the website. So then all that I'm just going to do is if I go for... Uh, oh, perfect, there we go. All mines are just to the side. I'll move my water out of the way. So I, just, I, think, I think I'll go for kind of like the pinky colours. So I'm going to go for the pink family. So I'm going to go for Plum Jam. I'm then going to go for the fuchsia, and then I'm also going to go for the pink tulip. So that is our three, that's our colour family with our three different uh, tones or shades. So I've got my dark, I've got my mid, and then I've got my light. So then what I'm going to do is bring in my stamp set again, and then bring in my stamping platform. So what I'm going to do is bring in stamp set number one just there and you can see there's like a wee corner just to the bottom just there it's a wee corner that says number one so what you're going to do is you're going to have a look at your stamping platform and because we've got all these different grids tend to just have a look and choose one that you want to go by so I always go by the center part here there is a cross underneath so you can see all the grids just there with on your stamping platform. So we've got this wee corner just into here on the stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up into the corner of the stamping platform. Then what I'm going to do is let's bring one of these sheets in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself ready and sorted. So I'm there and I'm ready to go. So because we are going for this full uh, background one, this full stamp, I'm going to go for the light colour on this one. So we're going to stamp this up and I'm going to give that a good colour over the top. So then what I'm going to do now is also I'm going to choose one of the outside lines of the stamping platform and that's going to match up with the outside line of your cardstock. Of course, you can tape this down if you want, if it makes it easier for you. What I am just going to do is I am just going to move my head in the way just in a moment so I can line that up. So I'm just having a look, just matching these up to the way that I want it. Then once I'm happy with that, all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to stamp that down and press just like that. So then we can see that's now given us that full part just right on the back, that full solid colour we've got on that one. So that one there, that was your pink tulip for that one. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to this next one here, which is number two. So there's a, a wee bit more detail within this one here. So then all that I'm going to do is peel that one off. Then once again, what I'm going to do is just to that same spot again, just within that middle, I'm going to line up that corner and that cross just there. Then I'm going to go for the next colour. So this is like the mid colour, which is our fuchsia. So I'm just going to stamp that. Now you will find with these sorts of colours and tones, like the fuchsias and that, it will stay in your stamps because they're a quick dry. Don't worry about it. They will still work perfectly every time. Once again, I'm just going to pop my head in the way just so that I can line that up. So I'm just having a look over. So once again, what I'm doing is I'm lining that outside of the stamping platform with the cardstock. So I, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to stick my head underneath and then I'm just going to press that down and I'm just going to press just like that. Thank you, I grew up myself, Johnny. So there we go. Compliment my hair, just in case you wondered what uh, I was on about just there. So I'm just going to press that there. Can you see now when you come up, look at all that detail, Jesus. <laughs> just there we've got all that detail we can see I maybe be better just bring that a bit closer for you to see so that's just now two layers that we've got I'm going to bring there we go look at all that detail so that's just two layers that we've got on there so then what I'm going to do bringing this back in I'm going to take that stamp off and then I'm going to just pop that back onto my mat and then I'm going to go for the number three. I'm going to go for the third one. So again, this is even less detail here. But for this one, what you're going to do is you're then going to pop that into the exact same part of your stamping platform. And then we're going to go for the third and final colour, which is your deeper colour. So this is the plum jam. So once again, we're going to stamp all that detail on. And then we're going to bring in our cardstock. And then just like before, what we're going to do is we're going to match up that outside line to the one that uh, I've been going by. So I'm leaning in. So then once I'm all leaned in and I'm happy and I'm ready to commit, I just stamp 
and I'm just going to press down. And because we've got our uh, mat underneath, we've got that good uh, stability on this one here. And then look at this. Absolutely incredible. Look at all that detail, all that depth. I'm going to bring this in closer for you to see. So there we go. Look at all that. So if I even just bring it in just a wee bit there. So that's three stamps there. So we've used all three together to create an all that different uh, dimension on there. That's like as though if you've coloured them, you've maybe used, you know, six, eight, ten different colours all together on these ones there. But don't forget what I was saying earlier on is I've used all three sets on this one there, uh, or all three stamps. You can use just the first layer and the third layer. Tell you what. Before we go into die cutting it, let's do it. Let's go for it. So what I'm going to do now is, let's just flick this over, we'll use the other side. So what we can do is pop that back just so I'm all in order. And you'd obviously be using cleaner cardstock, but just uh, so I can show you exactly what I mean. So let's go back to stamp number one that we were using right at the very start. So let's use that one. So we're going to pop that into the corner and then we're just going to go for the light color again. And I'm just going to stamp that over the top. Then once again, I'm just going to go by, I'm just going to go by the exact same um, corner as I was using to start with. So I'm just going to lean in and I'm just going to, happy with that, I'm just going to commit like that. And then can remove that away. So you've got all that fine uh, flat detail. So this time, Instead of going to number two with that wee bit extra detail, I could skip to number three if I want and get just a wee bit less detail. So bring that one in and pop that in. Now this time, because we're just using the two colours, I could either go for the mid colour or I could go straight to the dark colour. It's entirely up to yourself once you're doing it. So I think we'll go straight into the dark colour. So this is the plum jam on this one. So if I then bring this one in, once again, I'm just going to line that up over the top with the corner of my cardstock. Once I'm happy and ready to commit, I'm just going to press down. And once I've got enough pressure down, look at that. Unbelievable. So that's now just two layers. That is just two layers of the stamp. So if I turn it that way so you can see. So there we go. So that's just two layers. If I flip that over, that is using the three layers that we've got just there. So that is those ones there. So what I'll do is I'll die cut this one just now so that we can show you. But what you'll also see is you do exactly the same when it comes to all your leaves. So down here at the bottom, let's turn it over so we can uh, get a good view of it. So your leaves, you've got a few different ones here, or a few different styles. So these, these ones here, so you've got one and two. I'll tell you what, actually, let's even just do that just while we're here so you can see. So let's bring one and two, and then let's do another style of leaf as well. You can even see when it comes to the far top, you've got some more leaves as well, all to do with your, it's like your shadow and your nesting, you're layering all these ones as well. You're even getting the actual stock. So actually, let's just do that one as well. Bring that in. It's Tuesday night. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday night, isn't it? I'm all, all lost with my uh, my days. So what I'm going to do now is let's bring in, have I got a bit of roll? I do. So let's just give this just a wee bit of a clean first, like that. So because we're going to go for the, gr uh, the leaves, let's go for a bit of the green colours. So you'll see with this one, there's only layer one and two, so you only need two colours. So let's go for grasshopper and pine tree. So what we can do is bring in stamp layer one on this one here. So this one here, we're going to go for your lighter color like that. And then what I'm going to do is going to go in for the lighter green grasshopper and we're just going to stamp. And just exactly the same as I was doing before, what we can do is we can just line them up so you've got multiple different grids that you could be lining up now I'm just making sure because I'm going to die cut that side so let's go on to that side so I could just use another bit of cardstock but so there we go waste not want not so bring that in and I'm just going to stamp just like that so there we go we're getting that small leaf just there and then what I'm going to do is move that one to the side and then we're just bringing in layer number two and that's got all that fine detail when it comes to the leaf. So that's also just going to go into the corner there 
and then we're going to go for the deeper green which is pine tree and then we're just going to stamp that on then once again we're just going to match up when it comes to the corners so once i am happy with lining that up i'm just going to line my layers up at the side and then once i'm happy i'm just going to press commit and look at this so i'm going to really bring this closer in for you to see can you see we've got the the leaf and we've got all that vein and fine detail within the middle just there look at that one you've got that one just there and then last but not least let's just bring in our stock so with this one here it's just the one that you've got on there you don't need to do any layering up so pop that on let's go for let's go for a deep brown dark brown so let's go for seal brown all of these i'm using are quick dry ink pads all will be across on our website i don't need to li line this up because it's just the one so we're just going to do that one and press that one down then there we go so we're starting to get the layers of our flowers you can stamp and build these up all together on the one page you don't have to do them separately um, but the option is there so what we can do is pop that to the side bring that to the side so just to make it slightly easier let's just trim these slightly smaller and then we'll do exactly the same with the leaf as well as the stock so there we go let's just trim trim and trim and then let's just even trim that one there and then what we can do is run this through our actual uh, gemini and we'll do them all on the gemini junior and we can put them all together at the same time but of course as you will see by the size of them they will go through your gemini mini if you wish so bringing our stamp set in here so this is the matching stamp set or matching die set that comes with the stamps so all that we're going to do now is we're just going to take this one off and then we're just going to pop that over and we're just going to make sure that it's in place and when we're happy with that it's in place we're just going to take our tape and we're just going to tape that down just like that then we can bring this leaf in as well and we can just pop that on see these are quite easy shapes to uh, hand cut out if you wish if you like doing it like i am but that die also makes it easy for you so there we go we're just going to pop that on and we're just going to tape that one down just like that and then last but not least what we're then just going to do is bring in this one there we go so you now remember if maybe you've just tuned in you're just joining in now you're getting the two sets in total so you're getting two sets of stamps and two sets of dies so it actually works out that if uh, you're buying the two sets of dies and you're getting all those stamp sets for free so on one of the sets you're getting 10 stamps and one of them you're getting 17 so you're really getting a lot for your money there 15.98 here in the uk or if you are in the united states you are 24.95 in the united states okay so we've got all these just uh, lined up layered up just like that i'm happy that they're like that and they're not going to move so i'm just going to pop my sandwich layers over the top and we're just going to pop them through just like this going through the gemini so what we can do is start to just move a few of these out the way so that is now die cutting like this then we'll see how this now we start to just pull these away look at that so you're left with this real nice like a silhouette shadow all the way around so if i bring that in closer for you to see on that one just there look at that then we've also got this small leaf on this one just there look how dinky that is remember you're getting three different sets or styles of leaves in total and then we're even done the actual look at that one there so you're getting that nice shadow effect on that one just there so there we go so what you can then start to do of course what you would then tend to do is go and uh, stamp and die cut multiple different layers of your leaves but this is obviously just uh, giving you the idea as to what you can do so if i move these out the way and move that to the side what we can do is we can kind of just uh, assemble the wee bits that we've already got i've got a card blank that i've kind of already started and it's just ready to finish off 
So if I bring these in just here, so I've got these layers already done just like so. We've just got these using an embossing folder. Anything like that, additional glues, embossing folders on our website. There we go. It's just right along the bottom of your screen there. You can shop as you watch on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Right, so remember when you go through and you actually select your address and you select your shipping method, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you click on next, then that will take you to the pay by card or pay by PayPal. Just uh, a few issues going on at the moment that the team are working on. So just make sure once you've selected your, uh, your address and your shipping method, all you want to do is just click next and then that will take you to the pay by card or the PayPal. There we go. So then I'm just going to pop that to the bottom and then all that I'm just going to do here is we've got the flower on this one here. I'm just going to manipulate that slightly. Of course, wouldn't be a uh, cartload without uh, me adding some uh, 3D foam pads. So I'm just going to work that just to the side, just there. Then what we can do is bring in, let's bring in the stock for this one here. So it's entirely up to you. You can pop it in that way. You can pop it in that way. It's entirely up to yourself. But what we can do for now is let's just add our glue to the back, work our way like that. Then I'm just going to tuck that underneath and I'm just going to sit that just like that. Hold that for a few seconds. Let's bring in another foam pad, but we will just cut that down slightly. If you're needing any scissors, whether it's our large ones, medium or small ones, all across on our website, have a look just there. So all that I'm doing now is let's even just pop that one, just poking out just to the side, just there. Then there we go. If you wanted to add more of your leaves or that, you can do. We've obviously got our sentiments within the stamp set as well. So many different things and ways that you could use them. But that just gives you an idea how we've actually used the uh, budding hydrangea. So there we go. So if I bring that closer up for you to see, there we go. So it's just a wee card that we've made, but we've just popped the hydrangea. Remember, in that one there, we used all three layers of the stamp set, all part of the layering dies and the stamp bundle set. So here we go, just coming up on your screen in a short moment, all the details about them. So we've got the Gemini layering dies and stamp hydrangea and lilac set. So you get in the bundles of uh, two floral layering stamp sets and a die set for each of them. They are clear photo polymer stamp set. So you can do so many different crafting on these ones here. Over 50% off, it works out as $15.98 here in the UK, $24 in the United States. Okay, so let's go and have a look at comments on Facebook, see what everyone is saying. Um, Susan is saying that you love the heart die set, absolutely, that was the creative cards that we showed you. Uh, let's go down just a wee bit further on this one here. So we've got Linda saying that you love your mini. Absolutely. I think people were, I don't want to say surprised, but I think they were, actually, let's say surprised. Let's go for surprise. Actually, how many of your dies actually go through the actual mini on a daily basis? You know, there's a lot of them that are quite small that go through them. So that was a good thing for everyone. So many now realising how many things can go through it. Uh, Kay is saying you look very festive today, Craig. Thank you very much, Kay. I am, we are, but we 15 days down to countdown to Christmas. So I am certainly in a full festive mode. Um, uh, Sarah saying you love the outfit. No one's got any questions tonight other than saying that you like my outfit. So I appreciate that. Uh, Liz uh, Peddler, hi Liz. So you're saying, hi Craig, loving today's elf outfit. You must have a whole wardrobe full of Christmas jumpers. Actually, I don't. I've just got a select few that I like to uh, bring out every single year. Uh, we've got Jane saying hello from Pennsylvania. Um, thank you so much again. Really are watching uh, all over the globe tonight whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on YouTube, or whether you're watching on our website at Crafters TV, I appreciate you tuning in. Now, next Tuesday afternoon, the 17th of December, the boss is back. Yes, she is. Sarah's going to be in the building with an incredible Facebook Live. I'll tell you a wee bit more after she's gone in a bit more detail all about next week. 
So we had such an amazing time at Craftaganza this year. I taught hundreds and hundreds of ladies and a few gents how to do some phenomenal flower forming and have a go at doing these amazing little teacups. Now, we were chatting in the class and everybody had such a great time and learnt so much stuff. I thought, do you know what? Why not bring Craftaganza out to everybody else who couldn't make it? Now, when I did Craftaganza, it was a two hour class. I think I can teach you a lot of these techniques even through the medium of video. So what I want you to do, if you want to take part in my Craftaganza class, we can all do it together on December the 17th at two o'clock UK time, so nine o'clock Eastern time, so everybody can join in. Uh, we're going to have a go and make this together. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need our flower forming kit. Now, hopefully a lot of you will already have it. If you don't, we've put, in a, put an amazing starter kit bundle together Together so that you can get the starter kit, you can get all the form you need, the dies, the tools, the stamens, and I'm going to walk you through everything. On top of that, I want you all to go and find a fantastic cup and saucer and a spoon, and you'll need your glue gun to hand, and everything will be revealed. How fabulous will it be to get everyone crafting along together, making this wonderful project together. It'll be like our version of Craftaganza, but right there in your home. So I'm going to look forward to seeing you all on December the 17th, 2 o'clock UK time. So that's 9am Eastern time, and we'll be able to craft along and make this together. There we go, so you didn't have the opportunity to come to our uh, Craftaganza event. This is the perfect time to make that incredible teapot here in England, here in the UK. Who doesn't love uh, a wee cup of tea and uh, teapot? So there we go, something really cool and really smart to be able to make and uh, craft along with Sarah. So if you've not got any of the products just yet, of course, go across to our website where everything is there. It's all about the craft along with the boss. The boss is back just in time for Christmas with this incredible craft along. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, right, Gemini expressions and die bundle basically. So we've got three in total, but in each set you're actually getting two dies because you're actually getting the sentiment and you're getting the outside die as well. However, the actual idea and the intention is to make something a bit different. So we're going to show you that one. So let's show you the products first. So what we've got on these ones here, let's bring these in for you to see. So what we've got on these ones is three different sentiments in total. So we have got hello and we're going to tip that, there we go, make sure I've got that the right way. So we've got hello, then we've also got friends on that one just there, and then we've also got awesome. So there we go, certain WWE wrestler always shouting awesome. So there we go, we've got the two on these ones just there, two in each one. So you're getting all like, three sets, all six dies, if you want to think of it that way. Seven pound here in the UK, $13 in the United States. Straight away, just look at that saving, it's over 50% off. Originally here in the UK, you were 14 pound 97. In the United States, you were originally 26 85 in the United States. So that's where you're saving up over 50% off. Should also just point out as well, everything that I'm showing you tonight lasts for 48 hours or until stocks last. We were already earlier on with that other set that I showed you was uh, near, well, just over the 20% or 20% uh, gone. So uh, do make sure that if you do see something, then do pop it into your basket. And as I say, just bear with, you, just bear with us with that uh, card payment detail. Uh, just make sure that you've actually confirmed your, uh, your address, your, your shipping, and then just go on to next, and then just do uh, pay by card or PayPal, and then that will do it that way for you. Okie doke. So what we're going to do with this one is let's use hello. So what we're going to do, so of course, you can use it as a normal uh, die cut sentiment if you wish. So you could be die cutting hello, and then you've got the matting and layering on these ones just here. Now, hopefully if maybe if I show you on this one here, I'm not sure if you're going to quite be able to see this. I'm going to come close up for you to see. So hopefully. Can you maybe see at each edge there, uh, wait a minute, so right there, there's like a wee notch. There's a tiny wee notch just there. There we go, perfect. 
tiny wee notch just there and there's also just one on the other side just there as well so what we're going to do just now is i've just taken some of uh, our cardstock this is just from our 12 by 12 texture card all these sorts of things you can find on the website of course you could use with our mary and ma all that different cardstock as well so just in case you wonder it's eight inches by six inches i'm not going to be making a specific card i'm just going to show you uh, the actual like concept of the dies but of course a lot of you do like to know what measurements that I'm using so there we go so that was eight by six so all that I've just done is I've just drawn a pencil line light pencil line all the way along the middle and I've just making sure that I've just got them all together all three layers so yeah just pink we've got purple and we've got blue on this one so although we've got the power of the Gemini because this is our texture cardstock we will, might just find that it doesn't quite reach the actual blue layer however we can then come back and pop it on because you'll see you get a debossed line so we'll show you that in a moment as well so all that I'm just going to do is I'm just wanting to make sure I've got my so the hello is going to be that way which means that will need to be that way. So all that I'm going to do first is kind of just get it centered in the middle. Then the two wee notches at each side, I'm just matching up to each of the pencil line. Then all that I'm just going to do, I don't need all that tape. So let's just add just a small bit of tape. So again, just once again, just matching those uh, notches just there with the pencil line just like that and like that. So then what I'm going to do is bringing in my Gemini Junior plate. So this will just fit because it's six inches and it is just our normal platform as well. So it's our plastic shim, magnetic shim and our top cutting plate. So that is going to run through as well. So if you've got any, if you've got your scraps of cardstock at home, if you've got any of your small pads that are left over, it could be your colour pads. If you've got your paper pads at home, how many at home have got loads of all these different paper pads left over? It could be the scraps or that. You could make what I'm doing with your larger cardstock, but of course, any of those scraps, you could be making smaller ones. I'll show you some uh, samples just shortly as what the different things you could be making with them. So if I bring this one in now, so you're going to be able to see, so if I peel these away, so there we go, the pink layer, has come away so we can see the pink layer is die cut which gives us that one and then the purple layer is also die cut as well which gives us that one can you see how it's not quite gone through to the blue but then all that you can do is come along because you've got that embossed line all the way along all you need to do is just come in and just slot that back in just slots back in just like that so a small bit of tape just like so. So I'm just making sure that that is slotted back in. Now I'm just doing three colours. You can do this with a multitude of different colours and we'll show you that within the finished sample shortly. So I'm just going to tape that down and tape that down as well. Once again, we're just going to run that through and then that's going to do the die cutting. So if we then just start to bring these layers back together again, so we've got the pink and we've got the purple and then we're going to do the blue in a moment. So move that out of the way. So we can see now that that has now die cut just perfectly. And then if I pop that over the top, I'm just going to neaten them up. We've now got that die cut through all three layers just there. And we've also got our different part for the center there, which is also die cut. We're going to use that in a second. So all that we're going to do is I'm just going to get my guillotine and I'm just going to, once again, I'm just making sure that that's all neat and tidy and straight. Once again, just make sure. And then we're just going to line that up just with that pencil mark that I've got. So using the guide along the top of your paper trimmer as well. So all that I'm just doing is making sure once that's lined up all the way down from the pencil mark just there and just there, I'm just going to cut just like this. So that's going to give us are two parts just like that so if I move that out the way then what I'm also going to do is let's bring our mini in again and we could use another bit of a blue cardstock or we can just use the piece that's already die cut so all that I'm just going to do is pop that hello back in just like that because all that we're wanting is the hello to die cut so I'm going to flip our plate or our folder so I'm just going to pop that through and the pressure is going to die cut the word hello. So you could be using hello on its own, you could be using awesome on its own, or you could use friend on its own. 
So this is what we're wanting there. So we've now got hello there, but we've even got like a shadow. It's even like you could use that as like a wee shaker part as well if you wanted. We've got that one there, but we don't need that for the time being. So let's move them out of the way. So then what we can do, get rid of these bits. So this is where what you would then do is you would have a card blank. Let me just neaten that bit up. So all that we're then going to do is you'd have your card blank ready. We're just going to use, let's use our tape runner for uh, speed. So we're going to bring our pink layer. So we're going to bring this layer first. And then all that we're going to do is just add a bit of adhesive. You would take more time than me. So we're going to go onto our purple layer. So instead of going straight over the top, what you can kind of do is what I tend to do is let's move that up so you can see. So holding that kind of in the air just slightly, I'm going over the top and then I'm just pulling down slightly. You can see just like that. There we go. So we can press that down. Then once again, I'm just going to add some of our tape runner just onto the back. So let's bring in the next layer, which is the blue. So once again, I'm just going to line that over the top so it's kind of flush. And then I'm just pulling that down. So we're constantly getting that dr dr drop shadow effect. There we go. So that's one of them done. So if I move that one out the way. So let's just do this top part again. So add in a bit of adhesive all the way along. And bring in this top bit. So I'm just going to set that over the top. And then I'm just going to pull down slightly. And then we're going to press. And then once again, finally, we're just going to tape runners run out. So let's just use our glue here. Bit of glue onto there. And then once again, we're going to set that back there. Now, like me, if your tape runner has run out, just go across to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk or uh, .com, where you'll find that your tape runners are now $2.99 each or for $46 in the United States. So there we go. So we've now got our actual, uh, well, that is now our top part. So if we bring that back around just like so, this is where it's starting to create that shape. So let's just bring in, we'll pretend this is our uh, card blank. So all that we're then going to do is, I think, are we the other way? That's it. So if we go that way, so all that you would do is add that to your card blank, like so. Once you are happy with it, let's position that hello just in. Let's just add a bit of glue. You'd spend a lot more time if you've got your Xyron, your dotty tape runner, your sprays, anything like that. So I tend to put my word in first so I know where it's going to go. So I'm just going to pop that in just like that. Press that down. Then what I can do is come along just with the bottom one. Keeping in mind, yeah, I'm using A4 white card. Yours would be an actual uh, card blank. So I'm just going to pop that on just like that. Once again, finish off, all that we'll just do is add a bit of glue just there. What I should have said as well, seeing as we've actually finished some samples, anyone that's commented or asked a question or that, I will give them away. So there we go. So we can just press that down and then let's just trim that just to make that look a bit better as if it's going to be a card blank, just like that. Trim the edge. Trim the edge, it would be neater, but there you go. That gives you the idea as to how you can actually use in the Gemini uh, Expression die bundle set. So we've got these ones just there. So we've got the sentiment in the middle, but we've done that kind of like uh, triple drop shadow all the way along. So that's that one just there. And then very quickly, let's just show you a few ideas as well. So we have got friends on this one here. So again, with this one here, we've done four color tones, exactly the same as what I've done a moment ago. On this one, exactly the same, but we've look at that, it actually opens a gatefold card. Again, we've got friends, different way of doing them. So we've just used the bottom, but not the top. Then look at that one. Look at that one for awesome. Look at all those multiple colors on that one at a diagonal, using the words on its own. Just use the hello bit similar to what I've just done there. And then also just using the actual word on its own as well, not using the outside die. So that is part of your Gemini Expression die bundle. For a wee bit more information about them, it's just coming up on your screen just in a moment. Here we go on cartload tonight. You've got your Gemini Expressions die bundle. So this is hello, 
this is Friends and this is awesome. You cannot say hello without trying to sing hello. There's two versions you could sing. Over 50% off on these ones here. £7 here in the UK, $13 in the United States. Then we've got the Gemini small embossing folders coming up next. Here we go, and I'm actually going to be showing these next. We've got our Gemini small embossing folders. So we have got sentiments. We have got our traditional uh, style embossing folders. We've even got our 3D embossing folders within these ones. Some of them have got sentiments, some of them are patterned. And as I say, some of them have got words as well. Saving over 35%, 17.50 here in the UK, $21 in the United States. There we go, so let's carry on. Let's actually have a look and see what everyone is saying on uh, Facebook. Just quickly, we've got uh, Kat saying that that is uh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Kay saying thanks for uh, doing this card demo. I love it. Uh, you make it look so easy. It's just taking your time, just taking it step by step. There's no rush or that. And what's the worst thing that could happen? It's only a bit of cardstock. If you do make a mistake or that, you know, you could just pop it into the bin or the recycling or you can maybe chop it up, use it elsewhere. It's only a bit of cardstock. Um, there we go. Liz is saying, do you put the folder through on its own? So that must be about the, the mini. So yeah, when you're using the mini, if you've got yours, then yeah, when you're doing your die cutting, you just put your die with your actual cardstock and through the actual folder. That's all that you need need. Um, Eric is saying, so excited to get to watch the Craftaganza glass. class. Absolutely, that would be so good for anyone that didn't manage to get to uh, Craftaganza. Uh, I could carry on reading all night, but let's crack on. We're going to go on to the Gemini small embossing folder selection. We just showed you just there. $17.50 here in the UK, $21 in the United States, the saving of over 35%. So what we've got on these ones here is we have got our uh, Boston folders, which have got your uh, traditional style. I'll show you them in a bit uh, closer up just in a moment. So we've got our traditional ones. We've even got our 3D ones. Now, if you want a wee bit more detail onto the small sentiment ones, do have a look onto the website. We don't have them here at the moment uh, in the actual warehouse. Uh, well, they're in the warehouse. They're not in the craft room here today. So just have a look on the website. You'll see all the different words, multiple different words in total on there. So there we go, $17.50 or $21. So what we've got on these ones here is, if I bring these ones closer, so let's start with sort of like our traditional style in Boston folder, as I would say. So this one is actually saying happy birthday. So you've got the font and you've also got all that swirls in the background just there. So you've got that one. Then on this one just here, you've got your flowers on these ones here. So multiple different uh, techniques you can do, whether it's your sprays or your inks, you could do your watermark effect, anything like that. Then this is just one embossing folder, but it's actually got two designs on each side. So it could be creating your strips and your borders. You could chop into them. You can do all these different things with them. And then we've got this gorgeous butterfly and flower. This one has been absolutely, uh, it's been demanded to be uh, repeated uh, several times and uh, cut out to create your own decoupage on that one just there. If you've got any of your gems in that, you could pop them into the middle as well. That would look super cool. And then another one actually that's really good for popping any gems into the middle is this one just here. So these ones will all go through your Gemini Mini or your Gemini Go. Of course, they will go through your large and uh, junior Gemini machines as well. And then last but not least, we've also got two other uh, folders, which are our 3D embossing folders. So this gives you multiple different depth within your actual embossing. Also, we'll go through your Gemini uh, Mini. So there we go on these ones just here. You've got your, uh, um, now what's that one called on that one? Geometric diamonds on that one just there. So you can see, and then we've got decorative lace on these ones just here. So I think, of course, one of my favourites, let's go for uh, the 3D. And tell you what, let's do the 3D, let's do black cardstock, and guess what's also on uh, Cartload tonight? Sir Gildan Wax, also on uh, Cartload tonight. So let's do it. You know me by now, I'm going to do my favourite technique because it wows me every time and it wows you every time. We'll do a few different techniques, but we'll start off with uh, my favourite one. So I'm just going to bring in my guillotine just to uh, chop that down. So as you can see with these ones, these are uh, two and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is trim that down just slightly. And I'm going to bring in our Gemini Mini. So with your Gemini Mini and your 3D embossing folder, what you need to do is just pop your cardstock in, just like that. So you're popping your cardstock in on its own. So if I just line that up. 
Now that's all that you need to do with your Gemini Mini. You don't need to do anything else. Just run that through. And then all that we're just going to do is just going to run that through just like that. Keeping in mind, this is a 3D embossing folder. Now look at this. Look at this. This is our black cardstock. Now that looks incredible. But you know what I'm away to do just in a moment, don't you? So we've got sort of the, that's actually even the deboss side. Look at the emboss side on this one just here. Look at that one. So then what we're going to do, I have to tell you, Johnny's absolutely amazed at that one. He's just going, wow, wow, wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him go, wow, even more in a moment. So let's bring in our Pebble Gildan Wax. So we've got the three colours uh, on cartload tonight, uh, all across onto the website as well. I believe they're 20... But, uh, oh, here we go, right up there at the side of me. So there we go, we've got the five colours, the Pebble Gildan Wax, 30ml pot. Let me tell you, I've had mine for a lot longer than uh, before I started with Crafter's Companion. Could you believe it's coming up for a year since I started with Crafter's Companion next month? Incredible. Uh, I've had mine for well over uh, that time period and I've still got loads left. They last a long time. There you go, each one $8.99 within the UK, $12.74 in the United States, saving of 20%. So for this one here, I'm going to use the Empire Gold for this one. And I'm just going to, but look, oh, look at all that. Look at that, just luscious, isn't it? Real luscious. So what I'm going to do now, picking it up just with my finger. And then I'm just going to, I don't know if I want the deboss or the emboss side. They both look equally good. So what we'll do is, I'm just dabbing that just onto our glass mat. And then I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to run that over. So I'm just going to, once again, I'm just going to pick up all that detail. Now I'm not going to go over it all, I'm going to leave some of it, or let's do about half and leave the other half undone and untouched. And you're going to see how awesome that looks. Now this was just one of the folders. This is 3D embossing folder, bit of black cardstock and our Gemini Mini, that was it. So there we go, let's really go on. Let's even add a wee bit more into this corner if you want. You can go a lot deeper in uh, certain parts. So there we go, if I add a lot of colour into that one. And then let's bring that closer up for you to see. So we've got, even looks awesome there. But then if I bring this in closer up, look at that. Look at that. So there's the top. That looks awesome. That looks so, it actually looks like a gold bar, doesn't it? Can you imagine just maybe wee gold uh, gems or pearls in the middle? Of course, you don't need to do that. But look at that. That's just with our uh, gold gilded wax on there. So that's just one of them. Five to choose from. $8.99 here in the UK. $12.74 in the United States. So there we go. That's just one of our 3D embossing folders. Let's uh, bring in one of the other ones. Let's do a bit of inking and uh, we'll show you a tag that we could be making. So what we're going to do is uh, bring in, what one will we, let's do the birthday one actually. Let's bring the birthday. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to lean over behind me and I'm just going to bring in, when it comes to the Gemini Mini, you will also get this wee purple, uh, this purple plate, this wee bit of plastic. This is what you need with your uh, traditional style embossing folders. So let's bring this one in. And what I'm going to do is I've just got some of uh, our watercolour card just here. So this is just our watercolour card. And then all that I'm going to do first is run this through. So like we've done before, just have a look to see. So that is the uh, deboss, that's the emboss. So we're just going to pop that in the middle just like that. I've already got mine cut to size. And we're just going to place that in and sandwich that in. So we're going to bring in our Gemini Mini. We're going to bring in our plate again, just like this. So we're going to close it, just like that. We're not actually. I'm telling you porkies. I'm telling you we porkies. We don't need our uh, plate for that one. We need this one. So that's going to go through just like that. And then that's going to run through, just like so. And then if we then open this up, just like so. Now look at, this. so look at this. Can we see all that embossed detail? So if I get that just a bit closer for you, hopefully just see, can you see all that embossed detail there? Just on the white, so that's our watercolour car stock on that one just there. So again, that is just with the Gemini Mini. So we've got the power within the Gemini Mini like we do with the large Gemini and the Gemini Junior. But just because it's small, it does not mean it's uh, any less powerful. So let's very quickly, let's bring in a couple of blending tools. 
So let's bring our blending tools in. I'm using our water reactive uh, ink pads. I'm using our parakeet and I'm also using our honey pot. So all that I'm just going to do is let's just bring some in, uh, ink onto our pads. We're layering that up. Anything like this, we're going to find onto our website. So head across just there. Of course, it is uh, part of uh, Leanne's baby, the Spectrum Noir family. So all that we're just going to do is just picking out bits of different colour, bringing these ones in, mixing and matching, blending them in like this. So then bring in another one of that colour, bringing that in, blending that in, just like so. And add a bit of colour there. And then last but not least, we can add a bit of colour onto this side just here. Then all that I'm just going to do, just using my blending tool, I'm just going to go over the full lot, just like that. And then what we can do is, you don't need to let it dry. But just because I've got this one here that I've already just done, we'll just use that one in just like that. And then let's bring in a bit of, why not bring in a Renaissance gold for this one. So all that I'm going to do, just a wee bit like I've done before. Look at all that. So bringing that in, I'm just going to get a lot of that excess off onto the mat. And then all that I'm just going to do is run my finger over these embossed areas just like that can you see how that's we've got that ink on the background and we've now got that renaissance gold just picking up that debossed areas just like that so there we go look at that doesn't that look incredible just like that look at that i'm going to bring that in forward for you to see so we've got that one just like that then just a wee bit of matting and layering. Then all that we've just done is that one, just on a wee bit of cardstock, just there. And then very, 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 very quickly, promise Johnny, very quickly, what I'm going to do is let's bring in our white card. Again, let's just bring... I'm not surprised these uh, folders are really busy. You need to be quick for these ones. I really am kind of pushing it by doing this one, but Johnny will forgive me, I'm sure he will. Let's just use, let's just use parakeet because we've already got that one. Let's bring in, let's go for, let's go for, let's go for the geometric florals. So we're kind of going to do a, oh, what's the word? One's totally gone out of my head now. Kind of like a watermark effect um, with this one here. So all that we're going to do is bringing in our Gemini Mini again. And because this is just our uh, traditional style embossing folder, we are then going to bring in our purple shim as well. But then what we're going to do is we're actually going to pop the colour onto our uh, folder. So I'm just going to pick up, the, we've got the raised areas just there. So I'm just going to go straight over with our ink pad, just like that. You can use your uh, blending tool if you so wish. Then all that I'm going to do is we're just going to close that just like that and just like we've done before we're just going to sandwich that on we're going to bring in our gemini mini and we're just going to run that through just like this then if i let's show you the deboss side let's show you that one so this is the deboss side which still actually it looks really quite smart but you're ready for this are you ready Ta -da! Look at that. So all that ink has now gone through into what would be the deboss, going through into the background. That ink's picked up all those areas. Waterpress, that was, uh, waterpress? Letterpress. Letterpress, that was the word that I was trying to think of. So there we go. So that's another effect. So, so many different things that you can do with your embossing folders. You know, it just doesn't have to be running them through uh, your uh, Gemini or any of your other machines. It could uh, be using your inks and sprays and uh, all that sort of stuff too. So here we're going to be a bit more detail coming up on your screen right now. We've got the Gemini small embossing folder. So don't forget you're getting all these words within them as well. A wee bit more detail go across onto the website. So you've got all that full selection there. We've got 70, uh, 70, I don't know where that came from, saving over 35% off. We've got $17.50 in the UK, $21 in the United States. So that is where your saving of 35% comes off. Now, do you know that we've actually got, we've got a very large warehouse right here, not too far from Met Head Office. If you want to know that wee bit more about it and where all your uh, goodies come from, take a look at this.
did you know that our incredible warehouse is just down the road from our head office? And whilst we're based here in the northeast of England, our team ship parcels all over the globe, whether you're from San Francisco or Switzerland. If you've got any queries about delivery, then don't hesitate to contact our customer services team or check out the delivery information page on our website. But if you're still not sure whether you can order to your address, then our incredible customer services team are always on hand to answer your questions. There we go. That was just a wee bit more about it, you know, if you want to know. Because a lot of people like myself find all that sort of stuff interesting. I like a lot of behind the scene things, so it's quite interesting to know. Okay, let's set uh, crack straight on because we've got something that's always been so popular, whether it's here on UK TV, whether it's across in the United States on, uh, on TV or actually even uh, across in Germany. It's always been a popular one. So we've got it back here tonight on Cartload and uh, we've got it at a really good price, really good bundle with two sentiments as well. So we have got the Gemini Metal Die Storybook and Sentiments. So we'll show you them in a bit more detail. $24.99 here in the UK. If you are in the United States, it's 39.95. It's a saving of over 35% off. I'm going to show you everything just in a moment. Check out that price here in the UK. Originally, you were £40.97. You're now 24.99. Of course, in the United States, originally you were 57.85. You're now 39.95. So that. Your, uh, actual uh, saving of 35% off. So this actually works out as you're buying the storybook die uh, and then you're going to be getting the two sentiments uh, for free. So two sentiments but in each pack you're actually getting two dies because you're getting the sentiment and you're getting the outside die as well. So that is where your saving comes from. So let's show you the storybook die first. So I've actually got a board here. So this is what you're going to be getting. So let's have a look oh, up above. So you're getting a bit more uh, view within this one just there. So there we go. Kind of gives you an idea actually the size of it, doesn't it? It shows you it's taking up the whole screen there. So you've got your storybook die. So this is where your storybook dies all come together. Then you've got your, even your wee stand as well. You've got your tags, you've got your key, you've got your wee emblems as well. This is what the die cut out. This is the shape that they can create and this is what all die cuts out. So you're getting nine dies in total. Of course you can use them together or on their own. It's entirely up to yourself. So let's show you a few samples just first. So you can do Christmas ones. We'll show you the Christmas ones in a moment. But what about things like this? So if you've got the new baby or if you've got a christening, anything like that, you could be creating your storybook dies like that. You can keep that one level if you want. It's entirely up to yourself. Or if you've got a wedding, anniversary, special occasion, of course, you can be making that all 2D, adding extra height and dimension to them. Go all out with all your paper pads and your uh, past Sarah collections as well, adding extra detail. There's another one as well, just a few of our quilling flowers, just like that. Then we've got really colourful, bringing in our inks. But if I show you the layers of the book, look at that. See how they've all been lifted up. So you're getting three layers, but of course you could die cut them multiple times if you want. Bringing in your pattern papers if you want, like that or just going really nice, really subtle with your colours there and just making it themed when it comes to sewing. But if you do want to uh, bring them in, what we've got is uh, using Sarah's signature collection on this one here. So look at that, all that shape and uh, definition on there. And then we've even used uh, elements from our uh, builder characters as well as our shaker dies as well and creating the storybook for Christmas. So, so many different things that you can do with these ones. So what we can do is let's bring, I've got some bits and pieces here. So let's show you how you can die cut some of them. So when it comes to the largest one, you will need your uh, large Gemini. So let's bring in our Gemini Junior plates because it's the Gemini Junior that I've got just here. So we've got the larger one. So my set is, what is it? here it is, right in front of me. So if I open this up, if I bring these ones out, so you can see the size of the outside one. So we've got just this one just here, so that's a good sizable one just there. Then we've got our other two as well. But as I say, you don't have to use all three, you could use two, you could build them up, add uh, quite a few if you wanted. So what we're going to do, so you can see that these two here will fit just perfectly onto our Gemini Junior plates, just like that. So what I'm going to do is, I've already die cut one in black, this is the largest one, and just added some of our gold gilding wax around the edges. Then what we can do is just bringing in 
the middle one just like this so I'm just going to pop that over the top like so and let's tape that down just like that it's the most tiniest bit of tape but it will hold it in it will work so there we go we're just going to run that one through so that's where it's going to actually create that book shape now you heard right at the start there the bit of cracking if you have got a, a shape die there we go again if you've got a shape die that is a basic shape when it goes into your cutting mat especially if it's a new cutting mat you will hear a lot of cracking and creasing that's normal don't worry about it that will like, wear off the more and more that you use it but if you do hear it don't panic so if I then remove all this outline parts so then taking this one off so this is where we've now got our uh, second storybook layer and then all that I've just done with the smallest one again just done exactly the same and then that has given us the smallest part just like that so if I move these ones out the way so that's your three layers that we've done on these ones just there so that'll give us a large one and we've done our medium one and I've also got the small one so what I've done beforehand just before time uh, we came on at time there, we've just done the middle one. So all that I've just done is added a bit of ink around the side and with the black one we've just added a bit of gold gilding wax just there. So then what I'm going to do, there's a couple of ways in which you can do it. This is the way I like to do it. I like to add a bit of extra height to mine. So I'm not going to do lots, I'll just do a couple just to show you. I like to add just a few thin layers of our 3D foam pads. So what I tend to do is I do this. I will get our white glue and I just pop just a line of it just down the spine of the middle one, just like that. Then let's just take just a couple of 3D foam pads just here. So if I just pop a couple just to each side, there and there, let's pop another couple just at that side and that side. So taking them off, so taking the one, two, three and four, so then what I do is I then, as you can see, I've already scored down the middle and I'm just going to layer that flush straight over the top, just like that. Now the foam pads are going to grab it. Then what I like to do is just bring in my ruler, Crafter's Companion ruler, you'll find on the website. I like just to hold that down. So all that I'm doing, so see if I turn it that way, maybe you can see close up. All, there we go, perfect, look at that. So all that I'm doing there is I'm just uh, anchoring that down in the middle and the 3D foam pads are just helping keep that raised up just like that. Then very quickly, all that I'll just do once again, let's, I'll not put four on this time, let's just do two for time. So all that I'm doing is popping our 3D foam pads to the back and I'm just going to pop just a line of white glue down the middle. And then once again, on this one here, I'm just going to set that over the top. Once I'm happy, I'm going to press with my foam pads. Then I'm going to come along just with my ruler and I'm just going to hold it, you know, I don't know, eight, 10 seconds, something like that, just to hold that in space. So that middle part is going to be held in place with the glue. And then what we've got is we've got the 3D foam pad. Uh, keep that height and dimension to it. Righty, oh, so there we go. So that then gives us our book look so if I turn it that way so there we go that gives us our book look just like that and then as you can see the 3d foam pads gives us that extra height but because it's foam pads because it's the foam pads it can still fold down flat like that then using all these different components that we've got within the actual uh, storybook die that you can see there so all that we've just done is die cut that out in silver I tend to say die cut it twice and then layer it back to back just to make it a bit more sturdy. Then I'm going to bring this to the close up just like this. So if I bring that in, let's go that way, we're going, there, there we go. And then so if I set that on and then the storybook, just slot that into place just like that. Make sure we've got that set in. There we go. So there is a storybook that just sits just like that. There we go. And then what you can do, if you so wish, is just using some of the dies that come within the actual pack. You can decorate it whatever way you like. But that is the main idea, the main concept of creating and building your storybook die. 
So there we go. So that's, um, wow, that's been a very quick, wow, one hour and 45 minutes already. Awesome. So there we go. Let's go through everything that we've had on uh, our show tonight. We have got a Gemini Metal Die Storybook and Sentiment. This is what I showed you just a moment ago. You've got the Storybook Dies, you've got the Special Friends Sentiment. You've also got the Thinking of You, saving over 35%, $24.99 here in the UK, $39.95 in the United States. Then right at the beginning of the night here on uh, Crafters TV, we use the Gemini Expressions Die Bundle, which is a uh, hello. No, we're not. I'm skipping to the wrong one there we have got our Gemini create a card metal die bundle so this is our clamshell and this is our country garden or you can get the only love and the torn panel so within each pack you're getting two that you can choose from works out as half price $14.99 here in the UK $20.99 in the United States this is what I was getting ahead at. We've now got on cartload the Gemini Expressions Die Bundle set. This has got Hello, this has got Friends, and this has got Awesome. So it's your Gemini Expressions. So it's six dies in total because you're getting the outside die as well. A whopping 50% off. £7 for all of that here in the UK. $13 in the United States. Then something that's always essential when it comes to your crafting stash. This is our Gemini uh, stitched circle and oval Gemini metal dies. So what you're getting is you are getting the scalloped edge and also the uh, torn, not the torn, you're getting the stitched and the scalloped edge when it comes to the oval. And you're getting exactly the same when it comes to the circles as well. Again, saving over 50%, £25 here in the UK, $33 in the United States. Then we showed you something really popular tonight on Cartload. This is our Gemini Layer Dies and Stamp Set. This is our high Dranger. And we've got our Lilac. So you've got your two bundles. So you've got your stamps and you've got your die sets for each one. So it works out if you buy two of the die sets, you're getting this, the actual stamps with the bundle. So that's a good one. Saving over 50%. $15.99 here in the UK. $24 in the United States. Then something we just showed you not that long ago, we've got the Gemini small embossing folders. So these are small enough to go through your uh, Gemini Mini or your Gemini Go. So you've got all these different uh, styles and shapes. So we've got a traditional style embossing folders. We've even got a 3D embossing folder. And we've got a great selection of individual words that also emboss too. Saving over 35%, $17.50 here in the UK, $21 in the United States. Not forgetting everyone across in Europe, go across to the website. If you are in Europe, go to uh, crafterscompanion.eu. All your prices in euros will be there for you to shop as well. So what we'll do is we'll go and uh, pick a winner just quickly as well. You know, if you are had any issues, then just make sure when you go onto the website when you're going to be checking out, just obviously select your uh, actual address. Then just make sure that once you've actually selected your address and your shipping uh, method, just make sure you click next and then just go into pay by card, pay PayPal. Uh, the guys and the girls in the office are aware of it and they're working so hard to get this sorted, to go back to the original way, but you can still shop uh, well uh, when you're on the website, just by going that way. Of course, shopping on the website by uh, Facebook or YouTube, the best way is always to watch us here at Crafters Companion on uh, Crafters TV, which is on a website where you can watch and shop at the very same time. So let's have a look and see. So what we'll do, I think, what we'll do is I'll be really cheeky and we'll give two of them away. So we have got Marjorie Bates, you have put Advocat and Lemonade, Snowball. I'm presuming that you are um, commenting to someone else. Or, or the elves, that's what it was, that's what it was, that's what the elves drink, isn't it? Advocat and Lemonade, Snowball, I know. So um, Marjorie, so Marjorie Bates, I will uh, send one to you. And we've also got Naomi Burton saying, wow, I love the script die. So what I need both of you to do is if you can email prizes at crafterscompanion.com, if you could put your name and your full address. Also, I know your address will say whether you're UK or US or Europe. If you just state that anyway just put uh, today's date which is the 10th and just put cartload and uh, today's date just for me and we'll make sure that I get these into the post for you ASAP okie doke that's it for another night I'm away off on my uh, travels again I'll be uh, meeting up with Debbie Fisher tomorrow where we head across to Germany so for everyone watching in Germany you will see uh, Debbie uh, across there tomorrow 
Then, Creative Cravens here in the UK, we have, well, I'm saying here in the UK, everyone can watch, we've got Lizzie, she's going to be on, and Debbie Robinson. So we are going to have the queen of paper crafts, and we're going to have the queen of soft crafts together. So that's going to be a great one to see. I will have to catch up with that one, because of course, I will be across in Germany. Uh, so I hope uh, you enjoy them too. I know you will. I know that these two will have a blast together as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head off for tonight. And uh, we're going to leave you with what has been the most popular deer tonight uh, for you to purchase on uh, Cartload. So thank you so much. I will see you again live on Monday. I believe I'm on with Debbie as well, so that's going to be a good one. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you next week when I am live. See you later.